You miserable miscreant. Life has a way of evening the score. That, my friend, is called karma. Go ahead, be ignorant, care nothing for your fellow man, just don't be surprised when you get your comeuppance. Don't be surprised when the spirit of all your bad deeds comes back to haunt you. Fuck my dick, four eyes. Don't be surprised, idiot. Like anything I do's got consequences. Have there. It's just Afro Man and Porn Man's Best of Hardcore Amateur Fatties Volume Number 37? You filthy, degenerate man! You're just like all the others. I, I, I just found it. This relationship is over. But your disdain and contempt for my gender completes me! Damn you, pornography! <laughs> Damn you to hell! Hmm. I bet this would help me with my masturbation. Just have to get into my self-love clothes, and I'll be off to the races! Hello, I'm Adult Film Star, Porn Man. And I'm Adult Film Star, Afro Man. Welcome to Afro Man and Porn Man's Best of Hardcore Amateur Fatties, Volume 37. If you's like us, then there ain't nothing you like more than kicking back old school and getting your pole greased by some nubile hottie in a tube top. But let's face it, you're not like us because we are hot and buff adult film actors, and you are not. Testify! So, to better serve your adult needs, we have assembled this highlight reel showing the very best scenes from our vast collection of homegrown amateur pornography. Unlike us and the women we sex up, the folks on these tapes are just average, run-of-the-mill people who like to fuck in front of a camera and send the tapes around. In the misguided belief that that somehow makes them porn stars and lends a little bit of glamour to their dull and empty lives. So, sit back, undo your pants, and have at it. Okay, okay, this is it. Here we go! The red light ain't on. Is the fucking tape moving? Yeah, it's going around. I guess the red light's just busted then. I don't know. Maybe we should just check it somehow. Jesus H, would you shut up? I got the one two-hour tape and I ain't made of money. I gotta get two complete movies on this thing and get it out the door. So can you can the fucking chit chat and start with the screwing? Alrighty then! Battle stations locked! Commence firing! Ah!
Stand back. I'm going to give him the Heimlich. Why do I need to stand back? What? You said stand back. I don't I don't get that. There's no danger to me or anyone else if I stand right beside you while you do it. It's just a figure of speech. I know it's a figure of speech. I'm not disputing that. In this particular instance, however, its usage serves no other purpose than to stroke your own ego by feigning a heightened sense of the dramatic to lend a greater air of heroism to what you're about to do. Oh, I'm dramatic? Coming from you? How dare you? Fine, you do it. No! Well, I'm not going to. Fine! I, I knew it, I knew it! It's all about you, isn't it? Look at me! I'm a hero! Ah, oh, my eye! Ah, oh, my eye! <laughs> told you, told you you couldn't eat a screwdriver, you fucking idiot! Man, I thought you was dead for sure! <laughs> you, you still kind of blue. <laughs> look at that. Kevin said, look at me, look at me. I'm crazy, Smurf. Get me to the hospital. Get me to the hospital. Second-rate titty bar. Is this what my life has come to? Oh well, could be worse. Pass out in the alley again, Annie? Yup. Well, saves you walking all the way back down here later. Yeah, everyone's a winner, baby. Give me a jug of draft. Jeez, Annie, it's too early for me to start serving. One more violation of my liquor license and they'll have my ass. If you don't pour me a fucking jug too sweet, then I'll have your ass. And believe you me, I'll read a fine violation for you. Well, uh, I suppose I could bend the rules this one time. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. Got you red-handed, Marty the Bartender. Say goodbye to the camel toe, Freckles. I'm yanking your license and you're going to jail. Oh, uh, cocksucker! Yeah, what can I do for you? You're gonna have to do your drinking someplace else, lady. We're shutting this place down. Okay, okay, just let me finish my beer. Can't do that, ma'am. That's illegal beer. I understand, officer. Just give me a second to grab my voice and I'll be moving right along. Get between me and my booze. Yes, fucking lucky I don't put the boots to your asshole. Mom figured that would learn the ignorant prick a thing or two about how to treat a lady, and decided to celebrate by getting blind drunk. 
Marty didn't much care for her cavalier attitude, though, and he decided to give her a piece of his mind. Annie, you and me have been through a lot, but this is the last straw. The camel toe's all I got, and I can't afford to lose it. Once I get all this legal muckety-muck cleared up, you and Percy is banned forever! That's fine. I'll just get my boy stand and be on my way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Marty the bartender ain't falling for that. Ah, whatever. Uh, you want some of Marty? You got it, baby. I'll teach you some manners if it's the last thing I do! Please be careful, sir. The soup is ridiculously and scoldingly hot. Okay! Congratulations, Robert. You just made partner and tripled your salary. I'm home. Happy anniversary. Oh my god! I knew you never loved me. <laughs> Kevin had no idea what was going on, but as near as he could figure, the years of alcohol and substance abuse had rendered him blind. He was instantly terrified of living in a world devoid of the ability to see strippers and shiny things. <laughs> it's just a fucking bucket, a hole. Take it off your, take it off your head. <laughs> Well, that's better, thought Kevin. Then he got to thinking some more, and he decided that it might not be a bad idea to learn the sons of bitches that dropped a bucket on his head a right good lesson. Yeah! Hear me out, please? Make it quick. I swear to you, I have no interest in pornography. I swear to the Lord Jesus Christ. And if I am lying about my wants for another woman, then may God send you a sign. <laughs> what? That's all the proof I need. God, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> God. <laughs> Hello? I don't know what the hell just happened, but can you put me down? Ah, pervert! Hey! Freeze right there! But I, I didn't do anything.
Oh, no, you don't. Kevin couldn't believe his good fortune. There was over $100 in the man's wallet, not to mention credit cards and keys to the house. Just think, Kevin, our own house, we can play a married couple. Uh, you be the fucking lady of the house. Kevin didn't much care for the bird giving him sass mouth, and he figured he'd learn him a thing or two. So he imagined Alan in a dress with great big floppy middle-aged housewife breasts and bad mall hair. <laughs> yeah, okay, we'll forget about that whole married couple thing and just go rip the place off. Just turn me back, Kevin. I'm the idiot. You can't smoke in here. But I just about done it. Outside. Fine, fuck. Ah! My same eye! You son of a bitch! Ha <laughs> 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 
Kevin agreed, because he didn't think it was right to stand around and do nothing, while another member of the human race was lying on the ground in front of them, blinded from pain. So Kevin bent down and took his wallet. <laughs> and 24? Hooray for me! What the fuck could I have possibly done to deserve this? <laughs> <laughs> 